This is God's own country. Blessed with the varied bounties of nature. Abundant rain. A warm climate. The mighty western guards to the east. And the sprawling Arabian Sea to the west make Kerala a grand exposition of nature at its best. Kerala is rich in water resources. 44 rivers, sprawling lakes, backwaters and wetlands help sustain diverse plant and animal life. These water bodies contribute to the economy of the state in many ways. Tourism thrives on the strength of these idyllic lakes and backwaters, while the fishing sector provides the means of livelihood for many from the less privileged class. Estimates show that 24% of the national fish diversity is present in the fresh water bodies of Kerala. And 56 of these species are endemic to Kerala. Such a fish diversity is under threat from human interference today. Excessive sand mining along the river coasts and in the estuaries and construction of buns and check dams have more than impaired the natural movement of fish species. The upsurge in the water tourism industry and discharge of industrial effluents have come to affect the fragile riverine ecosystems, depleting the fish diversity. Scientists believe that retting of coconut husks in rivers and backwaters is yet another cause of the contamination of fish habitat. Unethical fishing practices like using poisons and explosives, bottom trawling and the use of toll nets have contributed to the mass mortality of the fish. One of the fish species that face the brunt and is on the verge of becoming extinct is Horabagrus brachysoma, commonly known as the golden catfish. But being a delicacy, the demand for this tasty morsel has not slackened. To save such species from becoming extinct, scientists of the Regional Agriculture Research Station at Kumaragam in Kerala are involved in fish germplasm conservation under the National Agricultural Technology Project. This program was carried out under the National Agriculture Technology Project in collaboration with the National Bureau of Fish Genetic Resources. Under this project, in addition to breeding of Horobragrus brachysoma, or popularly known as golden catfish, captive breeding of four other fresh species could be accomplished. These include the western gut freshwater fish species called Gonoproctotrus kurumuka or kuren, Clarius dizumeri, which is popularly known as Nadan Mushi, and then the Labio dizumeri or Pullen or Tuli, and a fourth estuarine fish species popularly known as Karimin, which is Atropolis soratensis.
The golden catfish was plentiful in the rivers of South and Central Kerala. Especially in Chalakudi, Periyar, Meenachil, Manimala, Achankovil, Pamba and Muvattupura rivers which open into the Vembanad Lake. But today, pollution, indiscriminate exploitation and a host of other factors have driven the golden catfish species to the brink of extinction. Before it becomes extinct, the germplasm of the species needs to be preserved through captive breeding. Involved in this effort is Dr. Padma Kumar and his team of researchers of the National Agricultural Technology Project. This project is the first instance of breeding native fish in laboratory conditions. As a first step, surveys were conducted in the rivers to prepare an inventory of the fish species. The survey indicated the prevalence of higher size groups during the early monsoon period. The period of maturation extends from May to September. When they reach sexual maturity, they attain a length of about 17 to 18 centimeters. A single female has the capacity to lay over one lakh eggs. Being omnivorous, this catfish is well suited for aquaculture. Broodstock of the catfish is collected from the different riverine locations for breeding at the research station. The collected stock is released into ponds complete with protective habitats created artificially. The stock is provided with staple food like groundnut oil cake, rice bran and fish meal at the rate of 5% of the body weight. Once the broodstock attains maturity, sexual differentiation becomes easier. Mature females have distended and swollen abdomens and have bright red genital papillae during the breeding season. Females exude eggs under the slightest pressure. Males on the other hand are smaller with a streamlined body. They discharge milky milt upon slight pressure. Once the fish mature in farm conditions, they are shifted to the laboratory for induced breeding, the most crucial step in the process. Induced breeding is accomplished in three different ways. One, by using synthetic hormones. Two, by using hormones obtained from fish pituitary glands. And three, by following the stripping method. When breeding is carried out using synthetic hormones, the fish are weighed to determine the dosage of the hormones to be administered. The dosage for males is half of the dose determined for the females, depending on the maturity condition of the brooders. Synthetic hormonal analogues are injected either intramuscularly or intraperitoneally. In the second method too, it is the body weight of the brooders that determines the hormonal dose. In this method, freshly collected pituitary glands serve as a natural hormonal dose. The pituitary glands are crushed and centrifuged. The thoroughly mixed hormonal preparation 
is injected into the male and female fish. Within six to eight hours, the male and female begin to court. In the next eight to 14 hours, the mated females lay their eggs. One of the major problems encountered in breeding of the, of the golden catfish was that the asynchrony in the is it known in the maturity of the fish. For example, the male of the fish attain maturity earlier than the female. Almost by May, the male assumes maturity. This was overcome by adopting to, uh, resorting to what is the stripping method which is generally adopted in this case. The stripping method is used to overcome the problem arising out of the males maturing earlier than the females. Here, the females are stripped of their eggs by applying slight pressure on the abdominal region. Likewise, milky milt is collected from the male fish. The eggs are mixed in the milt for the fertilization to occur. The well-developed and fertile eggs are heavily yoked, golden yellow in color and translucent. The unfertilized eggs, which can be differentiated by their white color, are removed. For safe hatching, a water pH of 6.5 to 7 is maintained. The fertilized eggs are kept for hatching. Hatching heaps are provided with a continuous flow of oxygen. Within hours, the eggs begin to show the coming of embryonic life. Depending on the water temperature, nearly 95% of eggs hatch in about 24 to 30 hours. The hatchlings have no resemblance to their adults. They are more like tadpoles in resemblance. Immediately after hatching, the delicate hatchlings are nursed in fine meshed nursery rearing enclosures fixed in concrete tanks where they survive on yolk for the first two or three days. After this period, they are shifted to the open nets in the fry nurseries and are fed with diets comprising of egg custard and live plankton. In about a week, the post larvae are ready to be transferred into prepared nursery ponds. Prior to the transfer, the ponds are prepared by applying hydrated lime and cow dung. Besides raising the pH to near neutrality, hydrated lime enhances mineralization of organic manure and acts as a disinfectant against bacterial diseases. Cow dung, on the other hand, helps the growth of plankton and benthos, the primary source of food for fish. In addition, the hatchlings are fed with food pellets in the prescribed proportion.
In about three months, the fingerlings attain a size of six or seven centimeters. Now they are ready to be released in freshwater bodies or for distribution among fish farmers for aquaculture. Besides developing methodologies for the captive breeding of golden catfish, scientists at the Regional Agriculture Research Station at Kumaragam have successfully bred other freshwater fish species too. Such efforts while providing a means of livelihood for the fishermen community serve the purpose of saving endangered fish species from becoming extinct a purpose noble by all means <laughs>